in a controlled study of injecting PRP during an autoscopic rotatic cuff repair, we found a striking advantage for the PRP, especially in pain relief after surgery. We found that in more than 96% of the cases, they didn't need a major painkillers immediately after surgery, compared with a control group that was exactly the same operations by the same surgeon, but without PRP, the vast majority of these patients had to take heavy painkillers for several months after surgery. I'm uh, Professor Ofer Levy. I am the head of the Reading Shoal Unit in Reading, United Kingdom. The Reading Shoal Unit is an international center of excellence for shoulder and elbow surgery. It was established uh, in 1998 by myself and my late partner and mentor, Stephen Copeland as a center of excellence for treatment of shoulder and elbow conditions uh, for research and development and as an international educational center for surgeons from all over the world. Over the years, we've performed tens of thousands of uh, shoulder and elbow procedures. The PRP system I'm using is, in my view, the only anabolic PRP system. has got no red blood cells, that have catabolic effect, has no polymorphonuclears that has got inflammatory effect. It's a pure platelet concentrate with mononuclear cells that provide cytokines. My advice to any clinician who'd like to use PRP is to select an anabolic PRP composition like the Troposel's PRP system. The ingenuity of the Troposel system is the separation gel. It's a very simple uh, preparation procedure with only single 10 minutes spin. And as Leonardo da Vinci said, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication.